Welcome to new video. In this video, we are discussing about MicroC OS 2. It's a real-time kernel. MicroC OS 2 has been used in hundreds of products. It is used in engine controls, network adapters, industrial robots, ATM machines, and instrumentation devices. Let's see the common queries regarding MicroC OS 2. MicroC OS 2 designed by Jean J. Labros in 1991. It is a kernel for microprocessors written mostly in the programming language C. MicroC OS 2 allows defining several functions in C, each of which can execute as an independent thread or task. Each task runs at a different priority and runs as if it owns the CPU. MicroC OS 2 is a portable, scalable, preemptive real-time operating system that has been ported and optimized. Next, we shall see how MicroC OS 2 got that name. It is the acronym Microcontroller Operating System version 2. The name was derived from Microcontroller OS, also called as MicroC OS. Let's see the characteristics of MicroC OS 2. It is a highly portable, very scalable, real-time and multitasking kernel. Its well-written code offers high performance. MicroC OS 2 can be ported to a large number of microprocessors as long as the microprocessor provides a stack pointer. Let's see the main features of MicroC OS 2. Most of MicroC OS 2 is written in C with targeted microprocessor specific code. MicroC OS 2 was designed for embedded applications. This means that if you have the proper tool chain, you can embed MicroC OS 2 as part of a product. Scalability is accomplished with the use of conditional compilation. MicroC OS 2 can manage up to 64 tasks. However, the current version of the software reserves 8 of these tasks for system use. This leaves your application with up to 56 tasks. It has connectivity to GUI and file system. Next, going to see the architecture of MicroC OS 2. In any application, MicroC OS 2 implementation, hardware and software are initialized. In this, software is the MicroC OS 2. The resources are allocated for the tasks defined in the application. The scheduler is started and schedules the tasks in preemptive manner. All these tasks are carried out using specified functions defined in MicroC OS 2. What are the services provided by MicroC OS 2? MicroC OS 2 can manage up to 64 tasks, the four higher priority tasks and the four lowest priority tasks are reserved for its own use. This leaves us with 56 application tasks. The task priority number also serves as the task identifier. After the task is created, the task has to get a stack in which it will store its data. A clock tick is a periodic time source to keep the track of time delays and timeouts. For event signaling or controlled access is used for resource synchronization. Mutual exclusion semaphore is used for controlling access to shared resources. Event flags are used for syncing with multiple events. MicroC OS 2 message in mailboxes is an MicroC OS 2 object that allows a task to send a pointer sized variable. Memory management partitions memory into blocks of equal sizes. Which is the first system level function executed by MicroC OS 2? OS init is the first system level function prior to OS start. What is the use of the function void OS tick init? 
It is the first task function that executes at once it initiates system timer ticks. What are the system level functions which are used by Micro C OS2 to enter and exit the interrupt service routines? OS init ender is used at the start of ISR. It is used for sending a message to RTOS kernel for taking control. OS init exit is used just before the return from ISR. It is used for sending a message to kernel for quitting control of presently running ISR. What do you mean by a critical session? Explain the functions which help the OS to enter the critical session. Critical session is a card segment where shared variables can be accessed. The two critical sessions are OS enter critical and OS exit critical. Thank you for watching.